video, we're going to show you how to change bolt-on bucket teeth. So we've got three different sizes of buckets here. We've got the micro, we've got the one and a half ton, and then we've got the five ton. Now each of these buckets do have bolt-on teeth, but they all have slightly different styles of removing. So we've got the micro bucket first with the single strap mini teeth. For the one and a half ton, we've got Kubota style bucket teeth. And for the five ton bucket here, we've got JCB style bucket teeth. Now just a note, both the Kubota style bucket teeth and the JCB bucket teeth come with side cutter style bucket teeth, which lock in the side plate to the lip plate. However, on the micro bucket, it's unusual to see a side cutter style tooth attached to these buckets. So we're gonna start off with the smallest bucket here, which is the micro bucket with the single strap mini teeth. Now, we're obviously gonna need a socket of some description to undo the bolts. We're gonna need something to turn the socket, so this could either be a ratchet. However, for speed today, I'm gonna to be using a battery-powered impact gun. Now, with the micro buckets, because we fit a taller nut to the teeth, you can actually get away with using a spanner. However, this is not recommended as you can only get a portion of the nut into the head of the spanner. Now on the single strap mini teeth, you are also gonna need an eight millimeter Allen key for the underside of this, which you'll see in a minute. So the easiest way to do this is to actually tilt the bucket back. That way you can see the underside as well as the top of the tooth at the same time. So for the underside, we're gonna use the eight millimeter Allen key as we've got a countersunk hex head underneath. Then we're gonna use the 18 millimeter socket in the impact gun for the top. Now, it's as simple as unwinding the nut, and then you've got a handy little bucket here to store your nut, your washer, and your bolt. And then just repeat the process for the bottom tooth as well. Now, the reason they're called single strap mini teeth is as you can see here, there's only a strap on the top. There's nothing underneath, which is why we countersink the blade. So the head of the bolt actually sits underneath the blade rather than protruding, ready for wear. Now obviously if you was replacing your bucket tooth because it was damaged or worn, this is where you would get your new bucket tooth. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna refit the same bucket tooth again. So I'm gonna grab my bolt and from the bottom, I'm just gonna put it in through the bottom hole and line the tooth up. Then put the spring washer and the nut back on and just get the thread started just to stop the tooth from falling off while you're lining up the next one. Now I'm gonna get the second bolt and put it through the top hole and again, followed by the spring washer and the nut. Now just note on micro teeth, they are not designed to be straight. They are designed to have a slight angle to them just to help get to the edge of the trench. Now I'm gonna use the Allen key in the bottom again and the socket and the impact gun. I'll just wind one of the bolts on first just to make sure it's lined up properly, followed by the second one. And then just make sure your first bolt is tight. And that's how to change the bucket tooth on a micro bucket. Now onto the Kubota bucket teeth for the one and a half ton bucket. Quick bonus tip. With the one and a half ton bucket, they do have a tendency to tip back flat again once you've got them tipped up on end. However, you can use either one of your new teeth or one that you've just removed and wedge it underneath the bottom of the bucket. And that just means you can hold the bucket up hands free. For this, you're gonna need two 21 millimeter sockets this time and something to turn it with, be it a ratchet, or a battery powered impact gun as before. To start off with, I'm gonna take off the bolt that goes through the side cutter. Now just bear in mind, the bolt that goes through the side of the bucket is actually shorter than the one that goes through the bucket teeth. So make sure you keep that one separate. Now I'm gonna repeat the process with a socket underneath and the impact gun on the top. Just taking those nuts and bolts off one by one. And then just slide your tooth off. Now again, for this purpose of this video, we are just gonna refit the same tooth again. So we're just reversing the process of taking the tooth off. So first, we're gonna to wanna to slide the tooth over the blade, then taking the longer two bolts first, sliding them through the hole, and through the tooth itself. Then we just want to put the nuts on hand tight to start with and then the shorter bolt however this time it wants to go from the inside of the bucket out and again just putting the nut on. Make sure you do all three nuts and bolts just hand tight to start with just to make sure all three holes line up as they should. Then again we're just going to use the impact gun and the socket 
to make sure they're tightened up properly. So now onto the largest bucket where you would typically find a bolt-on tooth, which is a five-ton bucket. From now on, you would typically find a cat-style tooth, which we cover off how to replace a cat-style tooth in another video. So for the five-ton, we call these JCB-style bucket teeth. For this, you would only need one 28 millimeter socket as the teeth actually have cast into them the inverse shape of the plow bolt which has a square head built into it and then a flat top so this means we only need to undo the nut and the tooth itself will hold the bolt square so to start off with we're going to take out the side cutter bolt so all i need to do is put a socket on the nut and wind that off while holding pressure against the back of the bolt. Then this bolt will slide out, then onto the blade bolts. So again, all I'm doing is applying pressure to the back of the bolt while taking the nut off. Then we can slide the two bolts out and remove the tooth. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna be reinstalling the same tooth again. So just by sliding it over the blade, and trying your best to get all three holes to line up straight away. Then insert one of the bolts and just do the nut finger tight again. Then once you've got the first nut on, just repeat the same process again for all three nuts. Now once you've got all three bolts started, you can then go ahead and wind them on. So that's how to change the three different types of bolt-on bucket teeth. However, if you want to see how to change the cat style bucket teeth, we've got that video for you right here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Rhinox YouTube channel so you don't miss another video. Stand.